Hello, this is Michael with FieldTech Academy. Today's video is another in the series on my van loadout. Today we're going to be talking about my laptop bag and what I carry in it so that I am equipped to do most of the contract type service calls that we see. Personally, I like a backpack style. Obviously, you can get the rectangular standard laptop bags, but I like the ability to be able to carry a lot of different cables in my bag and the functionality of being able to throw it over my shoulder. Obviously, one of the most important things in your laptop bag is your laptop. You can use almost any kind of laptop for the service work that we do. One of the big things, obviously, is you want to make sure you have your charger with you at all times. I just got on Amazon and bought a spare charger for my laptop, so I have one at the house, and I always keep one in my bag, so I don't have to worry about, did I grab my charger or not? It is always in my laptop bag. An advantage of the newer laptops is that they are thin and lightweight, but having a thinner laptop a lot of times nowadays means that you're sacrificing a network port. You're going to have to have a network port out on these service calls. I got on Amazon and got a USB 3.0 to network card. That way I can use the network card when I need to and unplug it when I don't. Another fundamental thing that you're going to want to have is a patch cable. Generally, I just carry a five to seven foot patch cable. So of course, you're going to need to patch into equipment and you want to have a few in your van that are longer in case you have a longer need. In today's world, laptops don't have serial ports, but a lot of these service calls you're going to need to console into equipment. So you will need to get a USB to serial adapter that you can plug directly into your USB port and it will create a serial port for you. Now, why do you need this? If you're working on most Cisco equipment, you're going to need a Cisco console cable. And you'll notice this has what looks like an RJ45 and then a serial connection. So the serial connection goes on the laptop side. This RJ45 looking connector actually goes into the router into a port that's typically labeled with the same powder blue color and it's called a console port. So even though it has an RJ45, you cannot use a patch cable to console into a Cisco router. There are other types of equipment that may require a serial cable connection. So you will wanna have a straight through serial cable and a crossover serial cable. Most of the time you're gonna use a straight through, but you never know when you're going to need a crossover. Some equipment just will not talk without that. And again, these are serial, so you need your USB to serial adapter to use these. You'll notice on this cable that it is a female connector. There are going to be times when you may need to connect to something that has a different gender. If you need to change genders on your cable, you can get these on Amazon, and these will change either from male to male or female to female to allow different types of connections. I will create an Amazon shopping list that is specifically for this video and this laptop bag setup, and I will put that link in the description so that you can easily find all of these items. Another cable that is becoming less and less common in today's world is an ADTRAN cable. If you're doing a lot of telephony work and telephony equipment, you are still gonna need this cable. So this is something to look at. Again, it is serial and an RJ45 looking plug. This won't work on Cisco and the Cisco cable will not work on ADTRAN. This is something I would also grab for your laptop bag. You wanna make sure that your phone is always well charged and stays charged during your service calls. The last thing you need is for your phone to die when you're in the middle of a support call. I personally like these 10 foot cables. That way I can actually get further away from the wall and have more range of movement while I'm plugged in. I like to get these three-way chargers so that I can charge three devices. I personally use a tablet on my service calls and a phone, and there's always something else inevitably that needs to be charged. So I like having this three-way. This little guy is kind of unique. It is handmade. This is a T1 loop back plug. I'm sure you can buy them on Amazon or eBay, but you can Google how to make this and you just take one pair of wire. I'll see if I can get this where you can see it. Basically you're taking pins one and shorting it over to pin four, and then pin two and shorting over to pin five. This allows testing of a T1 circuit or the T1 port on a router. It's very important to have one of these. Again, you can Google this and see how to make it by hand. It's very, very simple. You know, you'll have to have RJ45 crimpers and a little piece of network cable. This is something nice to have. And so I throw this in my laptop bag so I have it easily accessible because it's so small that if I throw it in a tool bag, it's gonna get lost. When you're testing network cables and equipment, sometimes you're gonna run into something that's not gonna allow you to have a plug to go into your testing equipment. So I like to get one of these little jumpers that is female on both ends, RJ45. This allows you to connect up certain pieces of equipment when you need to run a cable test on it. All the tools that I've talked about so far in the video have been really geared towards people doing network service calls for contract work, dealing with network equipment, test and turn up, circuit extensions, things like that. The next items will be for technicians who actually do computer related work. So if you're a technician that is doing the network side and you're also doing computer repair, these are great tools to have in your bag at all times. 
I've had trouble trying to use off-brand thumb drives, so SanDisk drives are what I always keep. That way I know that they are compatible and readable by all equipment. I always keep one blank thumb drive for data transfer. Now this one is larger. This is 128 gigs because I want more space. If you find yourself running into larger data transfers than 128 gigs, you're probably going to want to have an external drive on you. But this works for most small things. If you need to clone a customer's drive out in the field, you need good quality cloning software. I know that there's free cloning tools out there and they may work fine for you. I have found that those free programs sometimes don't work as well as a paid program. So I bought a Cronus' cloning tool and they allow you to make a bootable thumb drive so you can take it out in the field, slave up a drive, and clone one drive to another right there in the field. So you want to make sure you have a Hirons thumb drive. If you're not familiar with Hirons, it has a lot of tools built into it and it is a bootable Windows environment. So you can boot the computer directly to this thumb drive. It'll boot into a Windows 10 environment. You'll have a treasure trove of tools available to you on Hirons. You'll have partition tools, cloning tools, testing tools, it's an amazing thing. So if you're not familiar with Hirons, I'll put a link to that in the description where you can download it and make a disk of it. Any computer tech should keep Microsoft's media creation tool at their disposal. You should make a bootable thumb drive for every OS that's available. Windows 7 is no longer available on media creation tool. Right now, I believe that Windows 8, Windows 10, and Windows 11 are all still available on media creation tool. But I certainly would make sure that you acquire a Windows 7 one. You definitely want a Windows 10 one. And now, Going forward, you're going to want to have a Windows 11 one. You need to be able to reload an operating system out in the field to be the most efficient. Keeping all of these tools in your laptop bag will help you be prepared for most situations out in the field doing contract IT work. If you got value from this video, please smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. I have more videos on my van loadout, all the tools, tool bags, supplies that I keep in my van on my website at fieldtechacademy.com. I have one-on-one -on -one coaching and have a lot of downloads that are available that will help you be more efficient as a contract technician. As always, let's get you out in the field making money. I'll see you in the next video.